Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Much has been said about Patrick Harvey's mad idea to destroy the country, to impoverish every single person in it, and to let grannies freeze to death. It's what he calls his madcap, let's install a heat pump in every home, whether you like it or no. Well, it turns out it's such a pretty bad idea after all. And who says so? Well, Lord William Hockey for one. And he would know he's the biggest installer and distributor of these things in the country. And he says Scotland's climate is totally unsuitable for these pumps. That most of Scotland's housing stock will be unsuitable for them. They would need major upgrades, not just to the heating system itself. Uh, because then you've got the, the pump, which costs around £10,000 for an air pump to be installed. But then you also have to upgrade all the internal pipes, the radiators and everything. And then there's the problem with insulation. Most houses in Scotland don't have the requisite insulation. The total cost would be way more than the £33 billion initially thought. Could be nearer to £50 billion. Who's paying that? Well, nobody. Because even if it was all done, because of the climate, it would not generate enough heat to keep people warm or to produce enough hot water for a house. It's a mad idea, he says. Useless and pointless. Much like, I think, the Greens. We'll take a look at this article to see why, once again, another plan by the Greens has been shot down before it even gets off the ground. Because these people, as we know, are morons. Here goes. So humiliation for Scottish Greens as heat pump claims are destroyed by the leading supplier. Because of course they will. They, these people come up with plans. They don't ever think about them. Oh, we're just going to make everybody have a heat pump because that's the thing. That's the latest thing to have now. They haven't worked out the cost. They haven't worked out the fact that there is nowhere near enough uh, installers. They haven't worked out where these things are coming from. Are they going to all come from China? Or will we actually build them here ourselves? Anything like that. They haven't looked at the efficiency of them. They haven't looked at the running costs of them. They haven't even looked to see if they're any good. No, they just went, yeah, this is what we'll do. Because these guys are eco-fascists. That's all they are. And you'll see why uh, later on. There's another story about the eco-loons. Eco um... But Lorna Slater and Patrick Harvey have been put in their place by Lord Willie Hockey, who said that alternative domestic heating system proposed is unsuitable for the Scottish climate. Well, any fool would have told you that. Unfortunately, they aren't even up to fools. They, they strive to be fools. They're way below that. They've got room temperature IQs. Uh, anyway, Greens in the Scottish government have been left red-faced after their claims that heat pumps are the future of central heating were dismissed as hot air by one of the country's leading suppliers of heat pumps. The SNP partners at Holyrood want householders punished if they fail to replace domestic gas boilers so that Scotland can meet its net zero target in 2045. And of course, we all know that net zero is a lie. And it's also unachievable. It, it would destroy the country and it would make absolutely no difference whatsoever. Uh, however, Lord William Hockey claims that the alternative domestic heating system proposed is unsuitable for the Scottish climate as its performance begins to tumble in freezing weather. The leading entrepreneur's views will come as a blow to Green's Zero Carbon's building minister, Patrick Harvey, who last week outlined a range of proposals to target homeowners who fail to invest in a fossil-free future. He can't come up with a good idea because he doesn't have one. He doesn't understand the technology because he's a very stupid man. He doesn't understand the costs because he doesn't understand the econo economics of it all. Because, again, he's an incredibly stupid man who somehow found himself given a little bit of authority. I think this authority needs to be removed. You do not allow morons to dictate policy. Otherwise, madness that way lies. Uh, by using the stick of supercharged energy performance certificates, people may find themselves unable to sell their home as soon as two years from now. Lord Hockey made his millions through a global refrigeration business and said, I have a heat pump company and following Patrick Harvey's announcement, I should really be jumping for joy. 
But the truth of the matter is, he said, that heat pumps don't work as efficiently as Scotland as they do in other countries. Water can only be heated to 54 degrees Celsius, which is lower than the health and safety executive's recommended figure of 60 degrees. That's because Legionnaire's disease can thrive in lower temperature in hot water systems. So the SNP, what, not the SNP, the Greens rather, but who are really in effect running the SNP, the Greens are basically saying we want to force you to pay up to 35 to 40 thousand pounds per house to put in an inefficient heating system that won't heat your house and that may end up costing you your life because of Legionnaire's disease in the water which won't get killed because the water's not hot enough. These people are not only stupid, not only moronic, they're dangerous because they are so stupid they do not even understand the implications of the things they want to do. They are, to put it mildly, fuckwits. They should not be making any kind of decision and that, and that alone that alone about the health and safety means that this policy, this mad policy of heat pumps should immediately be put on the shelf, forgotten about, and these people ridiculed for showing, and once again, how stupid they are in public. Lord Hockey, a Labour peer, said some units can stop working properly at temperatures of minus 5 or minus 8 C. Even when they continue working, they draw more electricity, resulting in higher bills. Parts of Scotland hit minus 15 last winter and the country holds the record for the UK's lowest temperature of minus 27.2 seen in Braemar in Aberdeenshire in 1982 and again at Altnahalla in Sutherland in 1995. And I remember that one. I actually remember the guy saying it got down that because they thought it might even get to minus 30. And I remember the, the beat, it was the BBC, so not necessarily true, but I do actually remember that report. Uh, they are also unsuitable for tenement buildings, which makes up 40% of the country's housing stock. More like a laughing stock, as far as Patrick Harvey is concerned. Uh, he says it makes far more sense to convert an electric to an electric boiler. It might cost around £600 more than a gas one. But the alternative will be truly scary for families. Uh, so, you want a heat pump? That'll be £15,000. Solar panels to go with it and suddenly you're facing a bill for £30,000. Add batteries to the solar panels, you're looking thirty-five pounds to £40,000. And then that's that's okay, you've got that. You're producing all your, your heat coming out. Where's it going? Well, your actual your, your pump, your, your, your pipes aren't big enough. Let's re-put them in. There's another £10,000. See those radiators? There's another £5,000. They've got to go. They're the unsuitable radiators. And all of a sudden, bang, new control circuit and that, you're talking £45,000, £50,000 maybe. And for what? For a heating system that doesn't get as warm as the existing one, that is not heating water to the required temperature to kill the dangerous things in it, that is inefficient to run, that is way more expensive to run because the electricity is way more expensive than the gas, and which basically doesn't work in the cold Scottish climate of winter. Well done. Well done, Patrick Harvey. Well done, Lorna Slater. You can see that even combined, your IQs barely get into double figures. Um, anyway, my this is, and Lord Hockey continues. He says, my staff are always telling me I should not criticise our core business, but this is eco-nonsense being peddled by the Greens. I'd like to challenge Patrick Harvey to a debate on the science of it. Oh, you'd, you'd win that. I could put my dog up and he'd win the debate with Harvey over science. To tackle costs, because uh, Patrick Harvey, moron, hasn't, you know, didn't suffer, didn't, never even studied science. Um, when he did go to university, he didn't last very long. He's like Ross Greer. He did, I went, I went, I went to university, but I didn't last, didn't get anything. Walked out because I was a bit stupid. Um, to tackle costs, the Scottish Government currently offer a grant of £7,500 towards the cost of a heat pump, plus interest-free loans to cover the remainder of the installation. But who's paying the, the rising electricity bill? Because you've got to have these heat pumps on all the time. They've got to run 24-7. Imagine that. Imagine the cost of keeping what is basically an AC unit, an air conditioning unit, on 24-7, 365. 
Uh, Mr Harvey's latest consultation on the wider housing market follows new rules for new build properties, effective from next April if passed by Holyrood to meet the, uh, the Scottish Government's carbon neutral commitment of 2045. So every new house from April next year in Scotland has to be heat pumps, which means the Scottish housing market is about to crash and burn because people are going to go, oh, this is a nice house. Oh, how, is it gas entry? No, it's heat pump. But they go, fine, we'll go and look somewhere else because we're not paying to run uh, a heat pump. We're not paying all that massive amount of money to run a heat pump that does nothing for the environment. Because, of course, where does all the electricity come from? Mainly burning gas. There you go. Well done. Keep going. Um, he said, along with transport, heating Scotland's homes and buildings is one of the biggest contributors to our carbon emissions. However, however, put our carbon emissions, as in the whole of the UK, into perspective. How much do you think we contribute to the world, you know, the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and all that? Well, let me tell you, not 1%, not 0.1%, not 0.01%. In fact, it's 0.0001%. You could kill everyone in Britain, shut Britain down, let Britain go wild, and it would make zero difference whatsoever. Nothing. There is a lake in Kazakhstan that emits more CO2 per year than the whole of Britain. Go knock yourselves out. A Scottish government spokesperson, this is where we get to, a Scottish government spokesperson said, current global events vividly demonstrate the reality of climate energy. A climate emergency. There's no climate emergency. You had the opportunity the other day of banning private jets. That would have shown that there was a climate emergency. You didn't take it. And so therefore we know there's no emergency. You're using the word climate emergency as a lie. It is a lie because what you're saying is, oh, look at this as an emergency because you need to control. You need to change people. You need to use this excuse to try and beat people down, make them poor, force them to change because it's all about control. Show us the climate emergency. Close places like Vegas. Doesn't need to be there. Close Disneyland. Close Disneyland Paris. You know, close all the theme parks. Obviously, that's money, that's electricity being produced for no reason other than entertainment, not for, uh, you know, survival. If there's an emergency, we go into emergency rations here. Let's only have survival electricity. Let's only have survival energy. Close all that down. Let's ban private jets. No, that isn't going to happen. If you said, oh, it's an emergency, let's ban private jets, all of a sudden, ha, there'd be no bloody climate emergency. The 1%ers don't want their jets taken away from them, do they? Let's ban these big luxury yachts that go out and have a million pounds worth of oil uh, in, you know, in, in, their, in their tanks, because that's how much it takes. to a million pound a time every time they go to sea. That's a lot of oil being burnt. For what? Someone's pleasure jaunt. Let's have a climate emergency then. Let's ban the big yachts. Let's ban the private jets. Let's see then. How quickly there isn't a climate emergency. Uh, and so, yeah, they're full of shit. They're absolutely full of shit. Um, and it won't work. And there's the man that's telling them that they're full of shit. The man who knows the biggest supplier of heat pumps in the country. And he's saying, nope, they're not suitable. These people must have, you know, go around each other's house, get pissed on gin and come up with... Let's have a really mad idea. Should we? Th yes, great idea. Should we think about it? No, God, no, no. Let's never think about this. Because if we think about it, we might show that our initial idea was wrong. And we are quite incapable of being wrong because we're the Greens. and We stand for everything that's good and virtuous and stupid. I'm coming up. I am genuinely puzzled as to how these people function as human beings. They are obviously so very, very stupid. How do they go about their daily lives? Do they have a little book with instructions on how to use a door? This is a chair. This is how you use a chair. You know, do they have to have their drinks in those little plastic cups with the spouts that you give to two-year-olds? Because they are absolutely, you know, they are ba basically functional morons. They, they don't understand implications, consequences. They can't see past their initial prejudices and they hate everybody. They, they hate the idea of someone out there having any kind of fun or getting on with their lives. And they just feel it's their God-given right to interfere in matters of which they know clearly nothing at all. 
Anyway, the guy that does know has told them that they're a bunch of fuckwits and they should go back and, you know, concentrate on things that they're better suited to. You know, colouring books and keeping within the lines. That's about their level, isn't it? Not one single policy, not one, has gone through. I wonder why. Morons. Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and just ignore everything that pours out of the ignorant mouths of the Greens, because they're all knobs. Bye.